All right, so we know that we can create these dashboards and these reports and we can also email them out. But what if I wanna know something almost immediately as it happens? So maybe I've just posted some new content or maybe I've got a new process, a flow that I want someone to go through in terms of ending up and signing up for something or buying a product of some kind. What I can do is I can create custom alerts. So those alerts will tell me immediately via email when something has happened. So in this video, we're gonna go ahead and set up some custom alerts. So unless your full-time job is that you're a digital marketer and you're paid to manage and review the website traffic that you have, you're not going to have time to check your statistics potentially every single day. Um, also, not a good idea to just be sitting there looking every day and all throughout the day. So maybe what we need is some kind of alert. So what we can do is we can create custom alerts in Google Analytics and we'll get emailed for specific events. So events could be that somebody's visited a specific page or maybe somebody's been on your site for a specific amount of time, that kind of thing. So what we're going to do is look at how to set up the alerts and these alerts could be for positive or potentially negative scenarios. So to get started, we go into the admin area and make sure that you are on the view that you want to set this alert up for. And we can see there we've got a section for custom alerts. Now we can see there are four alerts that I already have set up and we'll drill into some of these before we go ahead and add a new one. So the first one is no traffic to the website. Now it could be if you're just starting out, there could definitely be days where you don't have any traffic, but the more that this builds up and the more traffic you get, the more people that are finding you online, then hopefully you'll get to a point where actually you'll have someone that goes to your site, at least one person every day. So this, what we can do is we can set up an alert. We called it no traffic to website. And what we're doing is basically saying, OK, well, I want this to be checked um, every day and send an email when the alert is triggered. What we do is we can set up and say this applies to all traffic and alert when sessions is less than one. Now, to me, then, if I got that alert, it might tell me maybe there's something wrong with my website. Hopefully I'd know before that, but it's just kind of like a, an extra fail safe that we can set up um, to be able to check on the traffic. Now, what I've also got is I've got something set up to say, OK, well, what if there's an increase in social media traffic? So on this one, what I've got set up is saying, OK, well, every day we want to get an email if the alert is triggered where the source matches a regular expression. And what we've got here is separated by the pipe symbol, which is likely next to your shift key, depending on your keyboard. Um, and we've got Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, LinkedIn and Pinterest. So whatever social media sites that you want to put in there. So we basically got those listed. So it's going to trigger when the source equals one of those. And when the sessions, the percentage of the sessions increases by more than 10% from the previous day. So you could have variations of that. We can basically have the condition say is less than, is greater than, um, which would be a number rather than a percentage decreases by more than, increases by more than. So if I wanted to change that and say increases by more than, um, let's say, 30 from the previous day, then go ahead and send me an email. Now, the purpose for that could be, OK, well, that will tell you that maybe something's kind of blown up on Twitter or LinkedIn where you shared something and it really drove the traffic to your website. So these alerts are a great, great way to tell you immediately that something's going on. So let's go ahead and set up a new alert. So if I click on the button for new alert and what I'm going to do is I want to have some kind of trigger or custom alert that is sent to me when I get a new visitor to the website and that visitor goes and looks at more than five pages or five or more pages, whatever that might be. So then I know I've got not only have I got a new visitor, but I've got somebody that is um, really engaged because they've looked at um, quite a few pages. So I'm going to say new engaged visitor. OK, so if you've got multiple views, we're basically saying we want to apply this to um, this view and others. Um, I put it on the all website data view so that 
I've got basically got it at the top level. If you select more, you will get triggers or you will get the um, alerts multiple times potentially. So just keep that in mind. Now it's already got a condition set up and it says all traffic and sessions is less than. What I'm going to do is I am going to um, go ahead and look for, oh, hang on. There we go. I'm going to look for the user type. So the user type we've got there, we can see new, which is the first time or returning user. So I want the user type matches. And if I start typing, I put new, it's going to suggest new visitors. So I'm going to say if the user type exactly uh, matches exactly new visitor, that's great. That's when it's going to apply. And I want to be alerted when the page views is greater than four. So it'll basically be uh, essentially five or above. So that is going to be my alert. And I'm going to go ahead and save the alert. So now we can see there, there's that new engaged visitor. Now what's going to happen, and let's show you one from a, a, another alert, is when that alert is triggered at any time during the day, you're going to get this email that will say the following Google Analytics custom alerts have been triggered. And then we can see there that the um, uh, all website data, the alert of forms versus forms pro has been triggered. Now, if you click on that, that will open up into Google Analytics and take you to that specific alert. What we're going to do is we're going to go into the customization area on the navigation and we're going to click on custom alerts. So if we go ahead and we can see we've got a link there to um, look at the details of the alert. So if I clicked on the details here, we can see that um, on the 8th of June, which is when it was triggered, and I have a custom alert for Forms versus Forms Pro, I wanted to know if for some reason I'm getting more visits to that specific page. And what it will do is it will break it down and show what the major contributing factors were to, to that. So I know that 38% uh, of the change in sessions came from people in the Netherlands. Um, there were nine sessions versus zero on the previous day. Canada, there were 12 sessions versus four on the previous day. So we can see a breakdown of that information and, and get an idea. We can then close out of that and look at another one. So this is my increase in social media traffic. So here we can see that there was a, um, a massive increase in terms of the um, number of sessions uh, and again broken down in terms of what those major contributors were. If we ever want to change our alerts, if we close out of that, we can see there we've got manage custom alerts. That is going to take us back to the same area or we can just go to admin and then custom alerts and then adjust and make changes if necessary. So there are a ton of different options. This is just showing a few examples. But definitely, if you want to know things that are either, like I said, positive or negative, so it could be that there's a decrease in traffic, um, it could be that there's no traffic to a specific page or whatever it might be. So have a think about what you want to be alerted about, what you want to see. Let me know in the comments below what you think you might start using the custom alerts for. Hi, I'm Megan Walker. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video and that you learned something from it. If you don't want to miss out on any other content, you can go ahead and click on my face below to subscribe. And if you want to watch the next video, you can do that by clicking over here and go ahead and get started. Thanks again.